Hey guys, this is Buster Running, back with part 3 of tracking tutorials. So, here I am at a, a small tracker, but in this lesson I'm not really going to be teaching tracking, I'm going to be teaching about quadrants and understanding a quadrant. So pretty much, a quadrant is spelled like this, Q-U-A-D-R-A-N-T. The quadrant is the area in which you are, so you see how it says I'm in negative 122, positive 121. That means I'm in the minus plus quadrant. So, if you took algebra, then you would know, you probably know what a quadrant is from graphing. There's the plus plus side in the top right, the minus plus side in the top left, the minus minus side in the top, in the bottom left, and the minus plus side in the bottom right. So, um, I was sitting in geometry a few days ago and we were talking about graphing and I got this idea about using a graph for an analogy. So I'm going to put this graph right here. So the top right is plus plus, the top left is plus minus, the bottom left is minus minus, and the bottom right is minus plus. So if you're heading, let's for example, you're heading in the top right direction from zero, okay, so the middle part where the two lines intersect. That's, it's not always true, but at least on MCBVP, that's the chord zero, zero. So when you go F1, F3, I think, direction, maybe F0, F3. No, it can't be F1, F3. So when you go F0, F3 direction, you're heading in plus, plus. So you're in the top right, top right quadrant. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, write them in the comments. I'll try my best to help you. Next episode, we'll be focusing on stack trackers. It's a way to track someone faster. So thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you want. And have a good day.